YouTube land. What's up? It's your girl Makara from Cougar's Closet. How y'all feeling today? So y'all, my title is called Don't Take It. And so I wanted to talk to the ladies out here tonight um, about this segment I'm running. This is a very um, informational piece that I think that um, women could use, you know. And so I wanted to do this because women are getting killed on this level right here. Now, let me start off by saying this. Women are slick. They are cunning. They're edgy. They are cougars. They are cats. They're slick. On a, on, a, on a woman's level. You know? And then men are slick on their level. But I, I have to give credit where credit is due. Women, it's some, women got some dangerous game. And so, with that being said, y'all know I lost my train of thought, but with that being said, women don't understand the, the golden rule when you go to taking a guy's money. See, they, some women don't understand this. When you go to take a guy's money, that means he's serious about you. When you go getting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from him, he's dead to the world with you. Now, don't get me wrong. Let me say this. There's all type of men with money. There's men with money that's in a in a higher tax bracket. He'll just do something nice for you, like buy you a car for a write-off. He don't care what you do. You know, there's some men um, with their money, and they can even pay you to go on. I had one years ago. When he got what he wanted from me and kicked it how he wanted to kick it with me and got tired of me, he paid me to go on. He had that type of money. He paid me to just just go on, just go away. Yes, it's true. Ladies, it's true. Some men just don't care about money or ignorant with money and don't understand uh the principle of money, in my aspect, but to the streets, don't understand the power of money. But let me say this. One thing about a man, when he dropping that type of money on you, Y'all have to have some type of agreement. Because if you don't have a written agreement or a verbal agreement on your end, that means he has an unseen contract on his hands. He has an unspoken language on his lips. And you better be with the program. We don't even need to talk about this. I didn't give you uh, $3,000 over a month span time or uh, every other week. Just how, however his wings far they stretch out, what he can do. I don't think we need to be playing no games thinking we out slick and uh, 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 no man about his money. He know what he came with. A and see, what women fail to realize is the golden rule. 
A man is not parting with his money. If he's that type of man that has worked himself up all the way from the feet up, all the way to the head up, he's not parting with it. Somebody got to go. Could be you. Running this slick ass game, it could be you. You know, man, buying cars and buying houses and buying this and buying that and, and, and giving you gifts and you rocking his ring and that thing cost, you know. He going to feel some type of way about finding out another man driving his car. He going to feel a type of way about walking in the door and his, uh, his woman laid up with another man. He going to feel some type of way about that. You ain't coming home and it's 4 o'clock in the morning. He going to feel some type of way. And for you to even want this type of lifestyle... Want it so bad to the point that you don't want to step your foot up in a place and work because you got it like that. Then that means you better play the part, ladies. He paying you to play the actor and take and cut. I'm just trying to School you ladies, because ladies are getting killed about this thing right here. If you don't want him, leave him alone. Don't accept his gifts. Don't accept his money. Nothing. And if you want it that bad, get off your ass and go get it. It's out there for the taking. It's waiting for somebody just like you to come get it. and been around women that wanted to live a lifestyle and didn't care what the price was, what the tag was on that ticket to rock that lifestyle. Come to work, fly as hell. Shoes brand new, got a $200 pair of shoes on every day of the week, different colors. Went in there and clear foot locker out. Clothes so slick, everything is set. Hair whipped every Tuesday. Diamonds on, glisten, listen. Have to come to work with black eyes, looking like a raccoon. In there getting her ass toasted to live that type of lifestyle. And I heard it was the type of beatings, goddammit, where you was getting thrown in the shelves and the champagne glasses was coming down, busting on the floor. I heard it was that type of deal. I heard it was some backhanding going on there, that son of a gun. It was that type of business. I've seen these young women and read about these young women, these black girls all in Miami, all in Atlanta, 26 and 27, lawyers, Big time. Or whatever they doing. Accountants. Big time. Suits. Chanel suits on. Chanel perfume on. Chanel bag and shoes on and belts. CCs in the ears. They dope like that. I didn't see them. Matter of fact, I didn't incorporate a little bit of they game in mind. A little bit of what I could. They that type of dope. These young girls is coming with the smoke. Go down there to a ladder in Florida. You get your feelings hurt. They crushing the scene down there. Them young black girls. Driving your goddamn uh, dream car. You stuck in what you stuck in. 30 years old looking over at them. Oh, they got it like that. Oh, let me tell y'all. When I lived in Atlanta. I was riding my chewed up, beat up car on the expressway in Atlanta. This girl floated by me. I forget what type of car she had, but let me tell you what I saw on the inside. It was custom. The outside of the car was peach. Like a light peach. I don't remember the shape of the car, what year, what type of... It was some type of sports car. I don't know if it was an Audi or something. The outside was a pearl peach. 
as honey she drove past me. She had custom made Louis Vuitton seats and wheels in her car. I seen her. We was riding like that. She slowed down so I could look in there. She had her big shades on. She was the business. Uh, oh, I've seen them in Atlanta. Black girls, 23 and 24 and 25. Oh, they're, listen, they're crushing womanhood down there. But some of them is in shady businesses. Like they lawyers, 25-year-old black lawyer. She sell and show houses by the day, but at night she sell dope. See, see y'all, everybody got a makeup, everybody got a DNA. It's wrong. Y'all don't even want to know who I am if I have to break down to my real DNA with my back up against the wall for survival. Oh, baby, I can get it done. You said you wanted how now? You said you wanted where now? You said you needed with who now? Listen, don't make me have to break down in my DNA and my back against the wall and I don't know where my next... Listen, I can, I can do it. But these girls are coming up cute with this shit, with these shenanigans. The, the game is fly. I'm not hating on it. If you got it, you got it. I wish I could have some of it and don't get killed behind it. But since that ain't my story and I'm worried about getting killed, I ain't gonna mess with that. There's some dope-ass women out here. But what they don't understand is once a man is kicking out that type of money, you become his property. Let's just cut the games. All this marriage shit and la la d and dot. Listen, a man kicking out that type of money, you ain't gonna be doing much, sweetheart. And you shouldn't want to be doing much. Because a regular woman would be enjoying the lifestyle. I'd be scared if I'm finna get taken in the bathroom upstairs in the corner. Uh, of the mini mansion that with the spiral staircase and get killed in the bathroom with a straight blade. I listen. I don't know how nobody run their business. Now I run my business on the third uh, dimension and on the fifth dimension level. That's how my business is ran. My business, listen. My business ain't ran through here. My business is ran through here. This show ain't e even in the equation. My money maker down there. I'm ready to roll. I got wheels on my feet. I'm ready to go. But I use my power in a good way. I know I'm powerful. Powerful. Now, how powerful? Is the mystery, but really it's not the mystery. I'm so powerful that I could come right here if I wanted to. But see, I'm not going to do that. So that's a door that I don't want to open. Because once you become bigger than yourself, you are a God at this point. And you ain't a God. You are God, but you are God on your level. You're not almighty God. You know. So that's one door that I know is back there and it stays locked, shut, and sealed. Don't mess with me and I won't mess with you. And that, that door doesn't come this way and I don't go that door's way. Everybody, listen, everybody room is off limits. But I'm just saying here. And y'all, I'm jumping. Y'all know I'm schizophrenia. But I'm just saying here. There's some women out here with some tough-ass game, though. But they tough-ass game been getting them killed. A man that's taking care of you like that. He got a GPS on your ass at this point. You better be in target with your head on this striped dress like you said you wanted. 
You better be there. See, this is my thing, y'all. Every guy I ever got involved with that ever did what he did for me, we had an agreement. Now, you pay me how much a month to play this part, to play this role, and I'm going to work that summer gun. I'm going to work it. Okay, so what are you expecting from me? See, y'all got to talk to these people. Because you don't know what will make somebody tick. Sitting up here thinking you got it. You ain't got shit. You have to get an agreement going with these people. About what they having for the money. What they ain't having for the money. What they money paying for. What they money ain't paying for. Listen, you don't know now. Do things I do. Pay for if I got to. Listen. You don't know now. Gonna rep this YouTube like me. You don't know now. Gonna talk that real shit like me. You don't know now. Little awful feisty thing like me. You don't know now. Listen. These streets have never, ever, ever, ever been anything to play with. I, I don't know why we acting like they something to play with now. The streets, listen. I remember graduating from school, alternative school. I remember graduating from school and telling my mother that I was moving to Chicago. And my mother, she with me on everything. That when we was in our good in our space, that was my bitch. Me and my mama was like that. We was bitches. When we rolled, we rolled. But you know, too much of something of the same thing is too much. My mom wouldn't let me have control back of nothing until she died. She had that type of power. My mother was dope. She was dangerous. She was a dangerous lady. And her mother was even dangerous, you know. But, um, y'all know I lost my train of thought. But I'm just saying here, you can't play with a guy's money. And it, it, it's too many women... It's coming up on the news. Lady in in Georgia, she lived in Buckhead and this and that. And she was found dead this morning and three bricks of cocaine was missing from her house and this and that. Okay, how does a accountant lady get mixed up in this bunch what is it what is she even doing with this supply but her family on there she was a good girl oh she wouldn't harm nobody i don't know why nobody wants to do this to my daughter she was beautiful she'd help you in your time of need they on here with this sermon and i'm sitting back watching the news like i believe you because i do i, I believe you i believe you i believe you but let me tell you something. The truth is, you didn't know your daughter the way you thought you did. Your, your, your daughter w was a business lady by day and she was a tradesman's woman by night. What's she doing with the supply of six bricks? And a man come to meet her. If she more heavier than he is, and he come to buy from her, he's going to feel some type of way because she ain't even got no business in the game in the first damn place. You a woman. You in my lane. Now, see, y'all can tell y'all when women cross the lane. I know about these gang-banging stories of women getting killed. Have more power, more electricity to a man. Your ass is gone. And if you do have more electricity, like myself, 
If you do have more power over a man, you better know how to play that shit. You better bow down in the grace of power. Listen, baby. I'm a I'm a lady gangster down these streets. I shake hands with the finest of finest of finest of finest gangsters out in these streets. I do it. Then grew up with the finest of gangsters. I done, done it. Then loved on the finest of gangsters. I done, done it. But I didn't play with their money. I always asked where we stood about their money because people will hurt you about their money. And sometimes it ain't even the money, it's about the principal. I've heard people getting killed over a dollar. Oh yeah, I, I've read I've read people getting killed over a dollar. It was the principal. When when the police came and slapped the cups on them, they said it wasn't about the dollar, it was the principal. Some people feel some type of way about their sentimental values. I happen to be one of those people. There are certain things that money can't buy. I grew up on the west side. I'm 217. Money can't buy that. I love my kids. Money can't buy that. I love my grandchildren. Money can't buy that. I love myself. Money can't buy that. You know. But but but, but you got some women out here will do anything to live a certain type of way. And that's fine. Because it's fine with me because I do this. If we got the right understanding on what we can do. What are your rules here? Let me read over your contract. Let me see if I want to go with this deal here. It might be too. Uh, hey, I might be over my head taking this deal. What's going to happen if I can't pay you back? We're looking at a chance of nothing might happen. Something could go happen. My tires come up flat and my windows getting bust out. Uh, you coming through my window at night, standing over me like, yeah, you, you breaking my, come out my closet at night and blow my brains out like, what am I paying for here? Listen, I done had some money rolling through here. Listen, I done had, listen, I done had some money rolling through my hands. But at the time I was young. And I should have had the mind that I have now, but I, I didn't. You know, sometimes I can be a little hard on myself. I know that. But now I'm walking into the light where I understand the old saying, if I knew now what I knew back then. Or if I knew back then what I knew now. Whatever that saying was. I'd be a soul off. And I'd saw it off. So, I just want to warn you ladies. Um, listen. You got some game. I admire it. You have the edgy power that I, that I dream about my sleep at night. But I can't pull it because I don't want to die. And if I die, I want to die the way an Indian girl is supposed to die. I want to die of natural causes. I want to die in my sleep. I want to die... Uh, while my great great grandbaby was on top of me and I was beating her chest while she was trying to go to sleep and she was like two days old or something, you know. I have ways I want to go. And I'm hoping God uh, sheds his grace on me and allow me to have that privilege. Women 
men are in the ground for cutting men out of their money or being um, too much of what they shouldn't be. You know, you got a volume, but that doesn't mean you have to turn it up so loud. You know, I have more um, power than what I have now, but I know to turn it down. And I especially know who to turn it down in front of. People don't understand the power of seniority. It's not that I was here first. It's I was made to be here first. Yo. I'm going to shut this thing down. Because I don't know if y'all can get with me. Because I've had a couple of my subscribers tell me how they feel about my channel. I appreciate everything I hear. And I'm always finding the positivity and the beauty in what I hear. And try to wing it. I never try to see it negatively. I always take it as something I can work on or improve or something. But I won't share what um, a couple of subscribers have told me about my page when they said they seen it because that's really sacred. That's a fire that's burning and burning and burning. The flames are just roaring and roaring and roaring and roaring and roaring and crossing and coming up and coming back out and shooting to the top, you know. That type of red orange fire and then it goes orange red. So, um, I guess I didn't took up y'all time. It's 27.37. And y'all know I talk y'all heads off. I don't give a damn. I'm drinking this daggum peanut butter whiskey two screwball. And it tastes like peanut butter. It's more sweeter than what I like. But guess what? I'm not getting off of it until it's gone. Because I spend my money where everybody kills and steals and robs and cheats for. I've never really cared about money like that. Now, if you can make my life better, yeah. But I'm going to spend my money, your money, with us. So I'm going to spend it with you. Um, you bought me an Audi, okay? Well, we going riding, you know. Uh, you bought me an Audi, yeah, I'll be home exactly when I say I'll be home. You know, I, I, I've been, you know, hey, but you got to be able to get close to me. Oh, you got to be able to catch me. Oh, you got to be able to capture me. You got to be able to capture me. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I will talk y'all heads off. I got to go. But really, I don't. I ain't got nothing to do but take a hot bath. I'm <laughs> just going blow off a little steam, you know. You know, see if he could have got any steamy stories to tell me, you know, stuff like that. But other than that, oh, and I got to eat, right? And I'm going to drink a ton of water. Oh, my God. F fresh, crisp water. I'm going to drink a ton of that. Because I, that's my revive, my my refreshing, my reboost, my recharge, you know. But I gotta find some type of powder that can go in my water that's uh really, really works like a magnet with water. Give me more electrolytes with no sugar. Like GNC is closed down, so uh, anybody got any suggestions, let me know. Your girl cook this closet.